person I was looking for. King Dina is rallying our forces near the Reva Citadel. Yes, King Dina and our forces are preparing to attack the Reva Citadel to the north. And on my way to find you, I noticed a strange shipyard to the east and a red guard settlement to the west. It's the strangest sight. More shipwrecks than a shipyard, really. It was as if they just fell out of the sky. And there was an awful lot of them. Other than a massive graveyard of ships of various designs spread across the valley to the east of here? No, not really. No, I doubt it's an actual settlement. That's just what the architecture reminded me of. I wasn't able to get too close, but I swear I heard music coming from that direction. You know, it sounded very festive to me. Isn't that strange, in a place like this? What could any of these souls shriven have to be happy about? It's Molag Bol's last sign of defense before we reach his inner sanctum, and it's certainly his most powerful. The Jamora station there have turned it into a heavily fortified city. Not quite, but soon. He's waiting for you and a few of the others to meet up with him. They're gathering on the land bridge just to the north. I'm gonna head in that direction as soon as we're done here. of the plains? Ridiculous! A mare as arrogant as a kin. How delightful. Ah, here comes the I champion. I do so Just love in watching time, as egotistical always. braggarts stumble. I may allow you to reconsider and accept my offer. Of course, I may not. I haven't decided yet. You there! Find out where that creature is lurking. I want her watched. We have come so far, but we have leagues to go before this business is concluded. We must push forward. We must find a way through the walls of the fortified city that looms ahead of us. A Dramora army guards the walls of the citadel, but there are those among us who recognize the city, who knew it well before it was pulled from Nern. We can use the guild halls inside to launch a surprise attack, provided someone prepares the way. Find a way inside and locate the Fighters Guild. Wards protect the hall, making it impossible for anyone to get in or out of the building. We know a secret tunnel that leads into the hall, but we'll be trapped inside until the wards are deactivated. Time is not on our side, but I will indulge you. Ask your questions. Even the strongest armor has chinks that can be taken advantage of. Look for a place to climb, or a break to crawl through. The female Dramora offered to help us, but Galerion sent her away. If you run into her, see what she has to say. Then you should certainly seek her out. We could use whatever help is offered, no matter its source. Just be on your guard. A Dramora would never offer help without some sort of string attached. The wards are part of the defenses from an earlier era. They could be activated to protect guild halls in times of trouble. Once set, the only way in or out of the hall was through the secret passageways. You need to find the ward key. The ward key is decorated with arcane runes that can unbind the defenses and deactivate the wards. It should be near the guild hall. Find the key and deactivate the wards. Then the fighters can emerge from the hall and surprise the Dramora.
While it might be entertaining to watch you bumble about the Citadel, I would much rather just see you get about your business. I'm sure that whatever you have planned will ultimately work in my favor. Right to the point? How distressful. Oh, very well. You seek a way into the Citadel, one that won't attract any undue notice. As it happens, I know just the thing. If you follow the East Wall, you'll find a breach that leads inside. Never look a gift, Daedroth, in the Maw, little mortal. I offer information, nothing more. The warded building you seek is near the main gate. The kin will try to stop you. If they don't succeed, we will speak again. Ephraim had information I needed. It ultimately led me here. I enjoyed what you did to Ephraim, little mortal. I'm looking forward to seeing what mayhem you stir up here. I'll let the others know that you've got a way in. more into the breach. I believe the Iliad King wants you to find a hidden key. Hurry. I think your friends have already made it into the sealed hall. How amusing. The little mortal suspects a trap. You are wise to fear the duplicity of Dramora, but I assure you that you are safe enough. Illusions hide this area from the kin. Just a little trick I recently picked up. Death, most likely. The kin that guard this citadel will try to kill you. It's generally what we do. The old hall you seek is near the main gate. If I were you, and most thankfully I am not, I would make my way there post haste. Technically I am helping you, not them. But this constant desire to know the why of things grows tiresome. I don't want to confuse you. Just know that I have a debt to settle. As long as helping you advances my goal, I will continue to do so. <laughs> the look on your face! How precious! You are dismayed. Why should this truth upset you? You benefit from my assistance, just as I benefit from yours. Patience, little mortal, you shall see. Now off with you. Nothing will come of us standing here.
I knew you'd be able to deactivate the wards. The Fighters Guild troops have already begun our two-pronged attack. The fighters will draw the attention of the Dramora while you go to the upper city. For the mages to utilize their guild hall's portal, you need to get it working. Find the four portal stones and activate them. Then the mages can join the fray. As Galerion pointed out, the old guild hall portals are designed to move people and material quickly. More efficient and less draining than personal teleport spells. And of course, they can arrive en masse. Uh, just what we need to surround... again. We've got to stop them. Here again. I'll stand guard while you restore the mage's portal.
did it again, my fearless friend! Well done! With the Dramora caught between my powerful mages and King Dinar's relentless fighters, they won't know which way to turn. The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild will complete the conquest of the Citadel, but we need someone to storm the Pyramid Stronghold and deal with the leader of this installation, Vulcanaz Ceres. That someone, my friend, is you. Your common vernacular aside, that is indeed the critical task. Vulcanaz Ceres has a key to the Labyrinth. Eliminating the Vulcanaz and obtaining that key are critical components to our success here. Your curiosity knows no bounds. Very well, ask away. As far as I can tell, he's a trusted servant of Molag Bal. Not only does he command the forces of this citadel, but he also has access to the Dark Lord himself. Part of Molag Bal's stronghold. It's a maze of tunnels that lead to the Endless Stair. No doubt the path is littered with traps and dangers, but we must push on. Cadwell tells us that the portal to the Planar Vortex awaits us at the Endless Stair. Tons of Xarxes! What is that thing? Make it go away! Make it go away! Thank you for standing beside the Queen at Tarnzel Will, Traveller. Stars watch over you. Those of Daedric blood may enter the pyramid, little mortal. I told you that you'd need my help. A Daedric ritual locks this door, and only a willing offering of kin blood will open it. I am your key to Valkanaz Ceris. You are my key to vengeance. That I cannot do, little mortal. If the Valkanaz is banished by my hand, I will lose honor and standing. If you kill him, however, I remain true to my word. And Ceris abides in the darkness with my lost clan until Cold Harbor allows him to return. My clan was destroyed, erased from this existence. And the hand that orchestrated that destruction was Valkanas Ceris. He thought my clan was a threat to his power. Whatever the right or wrong of it, Ceris must pay for what he did.
possible interest could that be to you, little mortal? Let me guess. You're worried now that I will order my kin to destroy you. I assure you, a change in leadership can be a time of confusion. No harm will come to you or yours. For now. Kin do not die. Ceris has been banished to the darkness. Long ago, our clans were locked in war. Ceris, through treachery, banished my clan. Everyone but me. I accepted a blood oath to remain free, promising that my hand would never harm him. I remained true to my oath. I helped you enter the pyramid. Nothing more. Indeed, the ignominy of a mortal sending Ceris to the darkness was most gratifying. My goal was revenge. I have no interest in your squabbles. Understand, little mortal, a kin's desire to spill mortal blood never ends, even if we don't always act upon it. I am what I am. If we meet again, I will smile as I take your life. <laughs> I hope you brought the key. We're ready to make the final push, but we're finished if we can't get inside. This is our last chance to save our world. It's all or nothing now. How odd that the Dramora aided us against her kin and Molag Ball. She must have had a powerful thirst for vengeance. Anyway, it appears as if we are once again in your debt. Thank you, my brave friend. Our four I hope our friend was able to recover the key to the labyrinth, or all our efforts will have been for naught.